Good morning, friends. It is a beautiful South Carolina day here on Monday, the 20th of November. Happy Thanksgiving week. And remember, whatever you do, be kind. You don't know what people are going through. And we want this to be a, a good week, a good feelings. I know I had a very interesting weekend. Um, we were trying to find an electrician after uh, 4 30 on Friday afternoon to rewire something in my mom's. We had to have appliances brought in. It was kind of nerve wracking. But anyway, we're past that. Looks like we're going to be good. So I can't wait to celebrate with family and friends. And y'all are going to be like, what's this with this haul? Okay, let me tell you. Um, I went in to do what I thought was a Shopkeeps haul, like I've been doing the last couple of days. A couple of Nani biscotti and um, for Rero Rocher. All right, because I'm trying to get ones for my, I was going to say turtleneck, from the turtle cheesecake that my subscriber Tammy sent me, that recipe. And by the way, I have four or five new subscribers. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you. And I hope you understand my point of view. But y'all, I didn't want to do Ibotta because last week I thought we were free of the bonus. But at 9 o'clock, we got one, and I was happy, and I ain't mad at it. So, I have to be at school giving um, quizzes today, and they're open book, okay? Um, so, I'll have to do that this afternoon on my way home. And I might decide to do a video, but let me show you what we did. Oh, my receipt is not out here. Okay, so I just kind of flipped the script and did a swag box, since my shop cooks weren't doing it. Okay, I don't know if I finished. I digressed. My shop kicks, you know those Ferrero Rocher. I bought them at three dollars and eighteen cents a long time. I was doing those before most people were doing them to get treats for my students. All right, a little goodie bag after they filled out my survey and taken the final. All right, so they rolled themselves back. Well, Walmart did to two forty eight end of last week. At this store, they were not rolled back. And yes, I checked it on the Walmart app and everything. So those $3.18 Ferrero Rocher set there today. And they only had Nani's Biscotti in this little small town in the middle of nowhere, South Carolina, for shipping. So I'm going to have to, I'll redo that at some point. So what I did is what I did swag bucks. The Cokes are 150 swag bucks each and that is like the real dollar conversion you know you put the um decimal two points to the left and that's a dollar fifty these cost two dollars and eighteen cents each so you're allowed to do this to get two twice per day so i went ahead and got my day's allowance so 150 150 150 150 is what i got back so this was 600 swag bucks all right the mentos i know somebody who loves those couple of somebodies and i'm gonna see them this week their swag bucks offer two for 200 but these are the strawberry are 136 um one dollar 36 cents each so we're getting back 200. okay this cavity protection that's a dollar each I was doing an experiment. This is tracking towards my fetch. Um, I'm about to come in on 1,700 points on two different fetch offers. One of them has eight cents left, so I'll probably get a travel size. So this didn't go like I want it today, but it's stuff that can be used, stuff that's needed. And y'all know I'm always looking for stuff to donate. And let me take a moment to tell you why I do what I do. If you're just new and you haven't gone back to the beginning, all right. At one time, I was very broke, number one. Years ago, my husband and I really had to work hard to get past that. We'd brought some baggage with us when we got married and all kind of things like that. But thankfully, we're past that. But as I've stated before, I'm not going to forget that young young married woman. I'm not going to forget that. That was very hard. Another thing is, is South Carolina is a very... Um, poor state in very reg um, regions. The regions I work with in the southeast corner and the northeast corner are very poor. In fact, I'm standing right now in the poorest county of South Carolina, and the need is um, the need really is worse than the the aid and the dollars around here. So we do have a food pantry at our university for our students because the county is not enough. Um, I don't know one person, including myself. Um, in these schools and all that that went to school where their parents could write a tuition check you know this is all of theirs was paid for by federal 
uh, monies, like, you know, grants and lottery money. So that's what we're dealing with. So I'm, I'm always going to remember that. There was a couple of times we had to resort to food banks. And as I said, it's been a while, but I'm glad it's there. I'm glad somebody thought about that. So, yes, I appreciate those who are looking out for me. Yes, I could cash in. I could save all this up and just go ever so often to the store with higher value cards and get more from our money. But you know what? I like to do this because when I was first watching couponers, and I've mentioned this before too, and they come out with hundreds of dollars of hauls and you're so much of a money maker, I felt hopeless. I thought, what am I gonna do with my $3 or my $5? So that's why I like small hauls. The name of my channel is Coupon and Wild Broke. That's my brand, y'all. So that's what I try to do. So somebody feels like they've got hope. And I will tell you, y'all, it works. You know, whenever it pays to go in and put these in, Breen Club, and I always say, they're always gonna be in the description box. Breen Club, Fetch, Frisbee, um, Poco, I've got that set up to my debit cards. I get points back on everything I pay. My, and my groceries, uh, my electric bill, rent, everything, okay? So there's some things you don't see, and like Receipt Pal, Receipt Hog, there's apps that are not tied to purchases where you're getting the cents back. So that's how I do a lot of these things right here. And now I also know that the big time couponers and influencers, how they did it, they started, and you know, their bonuses and the freebies and money makers added up. So when they go to the store for those hundred dollars of hauls, they're not feeling it just like I'm not because we keep rolling over our rewards and investing them back in. So anyway, yes, these much might have each cost a few cents. So this was 218, got back a dollar fifty. So was that 68 cents? Y'all, I'm not the math teacher, I'm the music teacher, so but I got back from Brain Club and Frisbee and coin out, receipt jar, um, Bing Rewards, my, not, not my points, what I was gonna say, um, receipt pal and receipt hog. I just turned in a $5 um, for Amazon gift card last week. I got $5 from something else. I can cash out from Brand Club today. Um, I can cash out my Frisbee. I think I was looking at about $35 stuff I can cash out. And they were not tied to purchases, like I bought a Checkout 51 and things like that, the Swag Buck Shop Kicks. So there's a lot of ways to do it. I love it, I respect everybody who does it. Um, but anyway, I just wanna explain that again. And if you'd like this, or if you're watching and not subscribing, I wanna appreciate some more subscribers, but I love you. I want you to feel loved. I want you to feel thankful, even in the midst of hard times, there's stuff to be thankful for but you're loved. Okay, be blessed and have a great Thanksgiving week. Bye.